Hey guys, today in this video, we're going to be doing some civil FE exam review and we're going to be focusing specifically on dynamics. Now, if you have not already and you are looking to pass your civil FE exam, go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button so that you are aware of every single time that I post. I do do practice problems that are going to be on your civil FE and I give you tips and strategies to help you pass. Also, do not forget to take advantage of some of the free resources listed down in the description box below. Now let's go ahead and get into the content. So today we are looking at dynamics and we are focusing on part C today, force acceleration. So today's practice problem, it says, an object of mass, 30 kilograms, is falling in air and experiences a force due to air resistance of 50 newtons. Determine the net force acting on the object and calculate the acceleration of the object. Now, if you're like me, you may not be the biggest fan of dynamics, but that is okay. Our reference handbook is going to help us out. So before I start any problem, I always ask myself, you know, can I use the reference handbook to help me, you know, solve, solve my problems and to help me, you know, get problems done faster. And in this case, the answer would be yes. It looks like we're having some objects falling down and we're just trying to calculate like the total force. So what I'm going to do is go to my dynamic section. And this is why it's so important to be familiar with your handbook, but I would just search dynamics and once you get to the dynamic section, you're gonna to want to scroll and find a section that says uh, particle kinetics. And we're gonna be looking at a, a problem that has for constant mass. So for constant mass, it says the sum of the forces is equal to M times dV over dt, so mass times the change in velocity divided by change in time, or ma, which is just mass times your acceleration. So the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration. So I think that we should start this by drawing a free body diagram to see what's really going on. Um, we and they're giving us our mass, right? So let's start by just kind of drawing out what this might would look like. So I got this mass ball of mass, right? and I'm just gonna color it in <laughs> to make it look cool. All right, we got this ball of mass. It's what did it say? 30 kilograms. So 30 kg. All right. And it is falling. All right. Feel sorry for this ball. Cause it's about to hit the ground. Okay. So the force, what, what's causing it to fall? Well, gravity is pulling it down. So we know we got a gravity force pulling it down, but then we also have a force that is another force that is pulling it up. And that's, it says a force due to air resistance. So that's 50 Newtons. So we got, an, got another force coming upwards, the air is giving it some resistance, which is keeping it from just going straight down. The air is slowing it down just a little bit. And that's 50 Newton. 
and that is equal to the force of air. Are there any other forces that are mentioned in this? This is up and down. I don't, I don't believe there would be any other forces. So we need to determine the net force, right? So to get the net force, that's just the sum of the forces. So I'm going to say the sum of the forces is equal to, okay, we got 50 Newtons. minus the force of gravity. Okay, that force of gravity is not helping us, so let's break that down. How do we get a the force of our uh, of gravity? How do we get that force? Well, we know from our equation that force just equals mass times acceleration. We have a mass. What is our acceleration? Well, our, our acceleration in this case is uh, 9.8 meters per second squared. We know that's just the, for, the, the acceleration that is going to be caused from gravity. So we'll say 50 newtons minus, okay, what's our mass? Again, 30 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay, and what does that give you? Well, if I do 30 times 9.81, We're just gonna to keep things simple. We're just gonna do nine point eight. So I get two ninety four. So minus two ninety four, and uh, really important that you know your new your units. Because kilograms, meters per second squared gives us newtons. So 50 newtons. So 50 minus 294 is going to give us equal to a negative 244 newtons. Okay, so what does that mean? What does a negative 244 newtons mean? Well, that's just our direction. So we just know that it's coming down with a force of 244 newtons. All right, so that's part A. Calculate the acceleration of the object. All right, so again, for part B, we know that force is equal to mass times acceleration. Well, we now have, we have a force of 244 newtons that's what this uh, object, that's how, that's the force of the object traveling downward. So 244 Newton is equal to, okay, what is our mass? Well, 30 kilograms, okay, and what is our Hey, well, we know that that's what we're trying to solve for. We're trying to calculate the acceleration. So 244 divided by 30, that gives us 8.13 uh, meters per second squared. So we know the acceleration of, you know, the object is going to be it's not going to be the full 9.81 meters per second because there is some air that is helping us out and kind of slowing that acceleration down. So our acceleration of our object is going to be the 8.13 meters per second squared. Hopefully that made sense. 
All right, let's go to our next problem. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna flip the page. All right, so our next problem is, it says a bicycle pedaling to the right at a constant velocity. So this one, for this one, we just want to draw a free body diagram. I know this is not included or shown in the problem, but we, what you want to do is we just want to see what are all the forces that could be acting on this particular object. So it says bicycle pedaling to the right at a constant velocity. So I'm going to start by asking myself, you know, do I need a, my reference handbook for this? And I would say, no, this is more of like a conceptual type thing where you're just drawing and you need to put forces down. And this is a, this is a question that they definitely could ask you on the exam. Everything's not always numbers. Sometimes it's, it's concepts and just them showing arrows and saying is, could this be a potential force that would be on this, you know, object? So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to draw a bike. So you guys do not mind my picture, but if you like it, cause I don't, I don't want the hate. I don't, I don't like the hate. So if you don't like the picture, <laughs> don't let me know you don't like it. But if you kind of rocks with it. Okay. So you see the wheels. You see the rims. All right, we going. So it's looking kind of like a scooter right now. But just, just let me let me get into it. All right, and we're going to kind of do like a little. Y'all see the chair. And so we're going to have somebody pedaling, basically. So that's my bicycle. Hope you like it. <laughs> if not, it's okay. <laughs> All right. So it says a, a bicycle pedaling to the right at a constant velocity. All right. So what forces are going to be acting on this bicycle, right? Well, we know that there's somebody pedaling too. So have a little stick figure. He's pedaling. Kind of get the point. Um, okay, so we got a force. Definitely have a force. Coming this way. And this is the force of that's being applied to the pedal. force being applied to the pedals going right that's why it's that's why it's moving it's going to the right all right then you have force coming downward all right this thing isn't just taking off and floating you know just randomly so you got the force of gravity Okay, what else? Well, I hope this thing isn't just, you know, being dug into the ground and going to the right. We got some balancing force called the normal force. That's holding up our person and the bike um, as it rides down the road. And then you have another force. Right? What would that other force be? Well, it's actually kind of like two forces. So I'll draw one coming this way for the force of friction. 
and that's going to be like on the tires and just you know it not being ice and it just sliding down so you got some force of the friction of the road then you have another force coming that way and this is the force of the air so the wind is kind of And I enjoy like feeling the breeze as I'm riding my bike or whatever. Okay. So any other forces? Don't believe so um, in this case, but these are some of the things that you want to think about, you know, when you're drawing your free body diagrams. Like I said, this can be definitely axed on an exam. Um, so Hopefully this was helpful for you. Again, um, if you have not already, make sure that you do take advantage of some of the free resources down in the link in the description box below. I'm just gonna pull up, you know, this guide that I've created. So this is kind of the sample guide and something that's completely free to you. I've created done two topics you got dynamics and you also have um i think mechanics you can see all this stuff just within this i think it's either materials or mechanics of materials um but it's a lot of a lot of material um you know to help you pass this fe but um basically you go in here you have links to videos that will go through topics and you have some practice problems so first of all you want to master the topics um, like your kinematics your mass moments of inertia your force acceleration all these different things then you want to do some practice on those concepts um yeah, it was mechanics and materials. Scroll past it. And then, not only that, after you've mastered the concepts, after you've done some practice problems, you want to do some practice quizzes too. So, uh, this this portion of this the guide, this is completely free to you. Um, so, it's available. Got a lot of practice there. And this is two of the 18 topics, but if you want the complete one, um, you can check down in the description box below. It has all 18, so you'll be able to master everything, have 300 plus practice problems, and you'll be pretty much all set. Like the videos that I'm doing is just kind of like the tip of the ice when it comes to fully understanding what's going to be on your test. Um, so that is huge. And then I also have an ebook that I've created. I'm just trying to let you guys know of the many things that I've kind of put together an ebook that kind of talks about some of the things that you're going to need to know before you take the test as you're taking the test and then steps on how to move after you've passed your exam or you failed your exam. So things like time, things like just the mental headspace that you need to be in. Uh, it's a fairly cheap ebook that you guys can check out if you would like to. Um, but that is all I have for you all in this video. In our next video, we're going to be looking at, um, what is it? What's next on our list? Yeah, work, energy, and power. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.